Good morning, everybody. We are in Seattle today. We have a special assignment that we're going to do. We are heading over to Boeing Field and we're going to pick up a brand new 737 MAX and fly it back to Phoenix. Let's go. Get it going back. Now this is a pretty special assignment. Uh, I actually don't get to fly the airplane back just due to our contract, but I was invited to come up to do the actual signing and receiving of the airplane. But we'll get to get in the cockpit today and show you a little bit of flying because we are under part 91 and we actually have a big production crew to come and film a lot of it. Now when I say big production crew, it's not for me. Southwest put the big production crew together. So I'm actually getting to be a part of it, which is pretty awesome and uh, picking up an airplane, a brand new one, is a pretty special deal. So thank you to Southwest Airlines for doing that and allowing me to be a part of the uh, part of the experience, which makes you guys be a part of the experience too. So one of the cool things is we get picked up in this big old uh, Suburban and uh, taken straight to Boeing Field, uh, basically straight to the delivery center. field and that is the airplane we get to take home today. I don't get to fly it. The good looking guys get to fly it. I get to ride in the back but I will show you guys everything I can on the flight. Alright you guys know I am a foodie and look at this spread. I'm gonna crush those. Those instantly crushed and I'm gonna go unbroken on eating it. This is gonna be the whole area where we get our breakfast on before we take the airplane out so there's still a bunch of stuff to do and again i'm a guest on this so it's, it's gonna be super fun all right guys breakfast was amazing as usual but i'm gonna show you the airplane that we get to take back and i actually found out i'm going to be the captain on the first revenue flight of this airplane and it's this guy right here uh, it's uh tail number 8877 so super honored i'm gonna grab this bird and it's going to do its maiden flight from Phoenix to Dallas tomorrow. If you're on it, it's a 5 p.m. flight. It's going to be a brand new airplane and uh, be honored to take you out there. And I am going to do uh, another video on that, so that'll be good too. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is it. Uh, this airplane is getting ready to go. Hey! It's heading back to uh, Phoenix as well. A good buddy of mine, Gary's flying that plane out. And he's got uh, a couple of friends out there. Oh, look at that, aviation enthusiasts. They're getting to head back uh, to Phoenix on that airplane. So unusual, we have two airplanes heading out uh, on delivery, heading back to Phoenix. This is one of them, that's the other one. This one's leaving before us. We'll leave about three hours later on this one. So this is aircraft number 800. If you guys are keeping track, it's November 8880 Golf. Number 800 in our fleet of 737s. It takes an absolute team that you haven't seen to get this thing going. This is just part of the team. <laughs> that put all this together to launch this airplane and it's heading back to Phoenix right now. Here we go, operating this airplane back to Phoenix. The first time this airplane is uh, not necessarily gonna fly, but fly with a Southwest crew taking it back for revenue service. So this is pretty special. Uh, again, I'm super thrilled that I was even invited out here. Uh, like I told you guys, I am not going to be flying, but uh, I am going to get as much content as I can for you guys just to show you kind of what we do in bringing an airplane back. And I uh, hope you guys like it. I uh, most likely will be hanging out there for uh, the remainder of the trip, but I am going to show you a couple of things that are uh, really cool about this. Uh, this flight is going to be empty except for, you know, really... 19 uh, staff going on board, but we've got some uh, some goodies here So it's gonna be catered Also in this galley right here. We've got uh, some meals the Flight's only gonna be two hours and 13 minutes back home, but this is a cool gift Boeing uh, got us a couple of these guys. So another pen and a little notebook. So Thank you very much, Boeing. I really appreciate that, uh, especially for, for being someone who's just kind of tagging along on this, uh, this mission. Here we go. Brand new airplane. 
There are no, no dust in between. This is going to be the nicest you're ever going to see this airplane. Uh, just because it's completely brand new. It's like a brand new car, right? Like I like to take care of my cars, so they get detailed a lot. But it is never the way it was when I first picked it up or when Tesla delivered it to the house. So uh, this is intriguing. And the IRSs are getting aligned right now. Everything's getting powered up. They're building the nest and getting everything inputted. So here's a couple of things that uh, are not on this airplane because it's factory new uh, that they're gonna put on when they make ready the airplane for revenue service. So one of the things is there is no headset or no handset down there. So no handset down there. You notice uh, on a couple of videos we make our PAs with the handset, uh, handheld handset, but uh, those aren't in. Those will get put in in Phoenix also over here. We have a handset that gets plugged in right there as well. So that's not in. Uh, a couple of other things. We have a flyaway kit that we put down here. That stores the uh, gear pins. So uh, part of our checklist, we check to make sure that the gear pins are in there. So a Boeing's procedure out here, they keep the gear pins in until the aircraft is pushed back and is ready to start. Then they'll pull those gear pins. We actually have a separate set of gear pins that are in one of these uh, bins up here that will go with the aircraft and that's what's gonna be going down there. So that's what uh, the Phoenix crews over in maintenance uh, make the aircraft ready for revenue service. Also, uh, you guys have probably done this several times, but there is a spring that goes in right here that locks the lab door uh, to the cockpit door when it's open when we're on the ground. That way the door's not kind of going back and forth. Uh, in Boeing, they put this little, little stopper there that doesn't last very well on a passenger airline that opens and closes a lot. So they we get rid of that and we put the spring on there. So that's kind of what happens with that. But otherwise, this airplane is going to be essentially ready for passenger service uh, really quick. All right, here in the aft galley, uh, basically where our flight attendants uh, work towards the back of the airplane, everything is pretty much set up for passenger service. But you will notice there's nothing in there. So. The Provo trucks are going to come up to the back of the airplane, usually out of this door right here. Uh, sometimes they're doing, we're experimenting with this door just to kind of keep the uh, ground area clear when they're loading bags. But we're all about efficiency here at Southwest, so we're figuring out uh, what is the most efficient way to load the airplane. But when it gets to Phoenix, they're going to load this thing full of snacks, drinks, and all that good stuff. But uh, this is a good way to kind of show you guys what it's like back here. We've got. Uh, Four jump seats actually, so two jump seats right here for two people, and we've got another set right here. So flight attendants hang out back here in the jump seat uh, while we're taking off and landing, and then uh, if it gets bumpy during turbulence, you know we're always talking about that. Uh, that's why we look at the uh, WSI briefs. We're trying to get a good brief for the flight attendants, so in case they need to sit down, this is where they sit down here. We are just about out of here. Everybody is oh, in cool. position yeah. in yeah. the cockpit, what ready up? to go. We got a great camera crew in here. What's going on? You guys are going to see some good footage, and they've got a GoPro on the window. That rhymed. <laughs> so we're going to get you access to that video as well. You guys are going to be able to see a 737 takeoff and land back in Phoenix, and you're gonna get cockpit video of that, uh, courtesy of this production crew that's putting all this stuff together. And Southwest Airlines, so we do appreciate that. You got an entire crew back there, hanging out. It's like a private jet for everybody. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, it's been super fun filming this uh, delivery here in Boeing. It's just an incredible experience. But uh, we are on our way. We're going to get you some good video of Mount Rainier as we fly past it. It's a beautiful day here in Seattle. So I hope you guys enjoy that part of the video.
You can try. There you go. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. Oh yeah, I can get it. Yeah, you can come closer too. Okay, get... hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to get a little space here. It's hard. It's really hard to see. Like. I am super thrilled that I get to give you guys this content. Um, there is actually a real production crew up front right now doing real filming for a project that uh, Southwest is putting on. But this is kind of cool. I'm glad I get to at least give you some of that. Uh, the production crew has given me uh, assurances they're going to share some of the uh, GoPro footage with us, so that's going to be awesome. But right now we've got about another two hours to go until we get to Phoenix. I'll show you some of the sights as we get closer. So I have to say the experience, uh, we're not back to Phoenix yet, but the experience is awesome. The airplane, obviously, we have all to ourselves on this flight back. I'm digging into my bacon, horseradish, and flank steak wrap. I've got a nice frappuccino. And we've got some, we've got some tunes going. So, uh, this is... It's probably one of the best flights I've ever had. This has just been super fun. Boeing really did it right with their delivery. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm super stoked. So uh, I hope you guys are liking the videos because I'm having a great time making it. <laughs> and we're back here in Phoenix, Arizona. Pulled up to gate 14, D14. Really nice out. It has been an absolute treat doing this. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Got lots of content with uh, the in-flight stuff that I was super happy to do. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are looking for some good uh, ways to support the channel, head on over to flyingwithbigearn.com and buy some merch. I'd like to see you guys out there with that crew fit shirt on. That's pretty cool seeing you guys there. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a brand new 737. Thank you to Southwest for giving me the opportunity to do this. Uh, I think we got some really good content for everybody. All right. See you on the next video.